come out for lunch with the family and we're eating a Isan style of food, which is called Tampad. It's kind of like the Thai version of tapas, I guess. We get a big plate of sometime with lots of different little foods around. We also got some other dishes. We got uh, Dayang barbecue chicken, which came with a sauce. We got a Tom Sep, which is a spicy pork soup. And I got a bamboo soup. We also got a couple of these as well, which are called a katip of sticky rice. Usually at this aren't restaurants, you also get a little dish of vegetables. This one's got some cucumber, some long beans, basil, and also some morning glory, as it's called. Really nice to eat, either raw or cooked. It's supposed to be really healthy for you as well. So you get a plate, spoon and fork to eat, and if you order soups, you get a bowl with another spoon. So you can dish your soup out from the main dish into your little bowl. Generally food in Thailand is eaten communally as we're eating here. You can see my son is quite enjoying it. He's got some egg, some barbecue chicken, some sticky rice, and a piece of pork skin that he's holding on to there for dear life. Looks like the bamboo soup for starters. Big bit of bamboo there. Very nice, quite spicy. It's a bit salty, it's got a bit of sourness to it. Yeah, lots of spice in that one. There's lots of flavours in there. A bit of a basil flavour. Bamboo, onion flavour. It's delicious, very, very nice. So in the soup, some big bits of bamboo. You see here the lady preparing my bamboo soup, chopping the bamboo. She'd already chopped and squashed the chilies. Then there's also some zucchini, some mushrooms, some pumpkin. and lots of lemongrass and some onion as well. It is really tasty. Probably best not to eat the lemongrass. It is pretty woody, but it does have a nice flavour. Well, it's just saying the salt time that we got is delicious. So next, I'm going to try my wife's concept soup. This one's got some chilli. The chilli's been fried by the look. Uh, onion, some kaffir lime leaves, some spring onions, uh, mushrooms, and generally it's got four groups as well, and about three or four big bits of tomato. My wife doesn't like tomatoes, so I'm grab that. Some mushroom, the pork, and some chilli. I might start with the mushroom. There's a bit of pork with that as well. Again, it's quite spicy. This one's actually a bit milder than some of the other places we've been here, so. But really nice. It's got a bit of a tomato flavour in the soup. Again, a little bit sour. It is pretty spicy, the spice is starting to come through now. Mm. It's sour, a little bit salty. But really nice mix of flavours, a bit sweet as well in there. So then, we've got the barbecue chicken. So I'll break some of this off with my spoon and my fork. And I'm going to add some of the sticky rice to that. There is also a dipping sauce for this which is really spicy. Generally, I don't eat my Thai food with the sauces because I find the flavour is good enough on its own. So 
sauce is very nice. Sweet, salty, very spicy. A little bit sour. The chicken is delicious. It's quite orange chicken. It's got a great barbecue charcoal flavour. It's a bit sweet. Very good barbecue chicken. Then we've got our somtan plate over here. We've got a somtan kubara, which has got raw crab and also fermented fish, which is one of my wife's favourites and also one of my favourites as well. Generally pretty salty from the fermented fish and usually pretty spicy as well. And around the sometime we've got some boiled eggs, got some fried pork skin, some noodles, some bean shoots, a few different types of pickled vegetables, some pickled bamboo, some sliced sausage, some sort of pork roll, some little salty anchovies. And it's really tasty. They're very crunchy, quite sweet. A bit salty, very, very nice. There's also some sort of nuts there. Coated peanuts. Coated in something in sesame seeds. Quite sweet and very nice. So, we're going to hop into that. Grab some of the noodles. Some of the sometime. Sometimes made with green papaya, which gives it a bit of a bitter flavour. It's a bit sweet, a bit salty. It is very nice. Papaya is very crunchy. It's good sometimes. So, it's got some tomato, some long beans, raw crack, chilli, grated carrot and a whole heap of different sauces and a fermented fish. So I'll try these other things around it. So the pickled vegetables, if you mix through with it. It's like a pickled cabbage, which is quite nice. It's a bit salty, a bit sour. Some... Some morning glory. It's quite sweet. Very nice. So what these ones are? Don't know in English. Pak chon in Thai maybe. And the bamboo. Doesn't really have much flavour. Kind of a bit vegetable-y. Mm. It's quite nice. And a pork roll or something, which again, very tasty. And then there's some slices of sausage, Chinese sausage, by the way. Very nice. It's quite sweet. It's kind of set, like a gelatinous sort of mass, I guess. But it is very tasty. You see my wife's coming into the peanuts and the anchovies there. They are really nice as well. So you'll find this restaurant in Krabby Town on the same road as the hospital. It's a fairly new restaurant. Definitely try it out. This is a popular style of eating in Thailand, I think. This is the first restaurant of its kind in Krabby Town, so we thought we'd try it out. And definitely hasn't been a disappointment. Highly recommend it. The restaurant's open from 10 a.m. till 9 p.m. every day except Wednesday. All the food's made there, fresh to order. This was our somtam being made. She had some chili, garlic, and a little bit of papaya, and add some sugar. Mixes it up. 
And she adds more papaya, mixes it some more. A bit more papaya. Tomato. Not sure what the name of that is. It's like a giant olive. And then some lime juice. And assorted other sauces. Fish sauce, fermented fish, blah blah. Seasoned raw crab. And then more papaya and carrot. And that all gets mixed through. A definite art to making a good somtam. My wife said this is definitely one of the best ones that she's had in Krabby. So then once the somtam's done, it's onto the platter and delivered to your table. This was my bamboo soup being made. The lady's cutting up some lemongrass there. She crushes and chops the chilies. Adds in some sugar and other seasonings. And then lastly, she crushed and chopped the bamboo. Left that to boil for a couple of minutes. As I said, we all enjoyed the food here, we had a really good time. They did have lots of other options available as well. Unfortunately, the menu is in Thai and it looks like this one. Unless you can read Thai, you're probably best to take a Thai person or get some help from the staff. I'm going to get back to my food. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. There's more Thailand videos every Wednesday as well as on other days quite often as well. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye.